I'm extremely pleased to be part of the third iteration of our studio for young people. It's important that we build successful societies. We have to engage our youth and get them on the right path of thinking. So the young campers are pretty fantastic. Uh, so working with Habitat for Humanity yeah, it was definitely a huge benefit. In school they used to a certain kind of thinking that is sort of linear and I was really interested in or expecting to be able to run them through a process that is non-linear yet structured. So really be able to have them think through problems from different perspectives, different angles. I describe this summer studio as it's interesting. It, it has lots of stuff that I've never learned before. It's an eye-opener to the things that they don't know. So I was expecting it to be like, maybe yeah, like a camp, but I think it's more fun. It made me realize how much assumptions that we jump to. We did mental models, and for me, that hit me the most because I learned that they could find they could find good feelings and emotions, and if you're vexed with somebody, they could find something good in them. Um, there was one activity where there was a maze, and we were put into different groups, and as soon as we were put into different groups, we all assumed that it was a competition. And at the end, we realized that we were both on the same path, we just started at different points, and if we worked together and cooperated, both teams would have finished. Like, you had to pick either one or two people, and you had to follow them, so like you learned like about leverage points because um, like once that person had to move, everyone had to move. The biggest change I see in myself is how I don't judge people as soon as I meet them and I interact with people more. You really have to talk more and understand more and really broaden your expectations and your ideas. From where they were last year to just expanding the minds of teenagers to actually help in our organization right now, that's really big. I think I was really surprised by the, the participants who returned. And they were just as engaged as they were the first time and the content doesn't seem to get boring to them. They sort of naturally take on a coaching role without us telling them much. So they understand that, yeah, I've done this before, but I'm still learning and I can teach somebody else. One of the things we test our success on is how many students come back. And we've really had no fall off. And that is a surprise to me, that students would have spent four days dealing with this very heavy, very dense curricula, and then come back for more. And they are happy. If, if even a sort of single, single bit of this camp goes away with each one of them, where they think twice about something, or they try to get to that deeper level again in a problem that they have, I think that's absolute success. Every time I do this, it's up to you what you think is important.